Hi Cancer, this is going to be your reading for the month of March 2022. We'll be looking at your recent past, current and near future energies with some outcome at the end and uh, some advice. And now guys remember these readings are general, they may or may not resonate. The message is usually meant for a particular group of people or a certain person in general readings. So if you would like a personal reading, I will leave the information for that in the description box down below. Readings are only 20 bucks right now, so feel free to go through the details and pick one. And let's see what's going on with you. My cancers. The moon rising and Venus signs. Mm, the world card in your recent past. Three of cups in reverse. Hmm. Ace of swords, okay. Seven of pentacles is clarifying that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice romantic energy. You could be connecting with a air sign, Cancer. Very, or a Pisces, okay? Very soulmate type of energy. Nice, 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 nice. Competitions coming up. Ooh, a new job offer might be coming up as well. And a lot of juggling is coming up. Okay, very good reading. Very straightforward here, Cancer. So let's get into it. So your reading starts off with this energy of the wait is over. So seven of pentacles in reverse is showing you that wait is over. You might have put in a lot of effort, a lot of work into something and you had been waiting for it to come to fruition. Okay. And I see that that it did come to fruition, possibly in end of Feb or it might just even be happening right now. Um, this is your recent past energy on my spread here. But um, the world card, you know, it looks like the door it's opening for you the world is opening itself up for you um and uh, you know i do see that there's a lot of opportunity and uh, but I, I see wish fulfillment though which is funny because i should have the star card but i am the energy i'm getting from the world card is the same as the star card right now for some reason so i'm getting a lot of wish fulfillment for you hmm i feel like you had been waiting on something or someone and something that you put in a lot of work in you might even be coming out of friend zone <laughs> out of the friend zone i'm hearing that three of cups in reverse um so i do see you might even be coming out of the friend zone or you know you're just kind of getting what you had been waiting for something that you had been putting in effort uh to i do get a romantic energy here so i will say that it looks like if i'm being specific okay it does look like that you had been waiting for someone to make up their mind okay um, whether they wanted to date you um, in the romantic aspect or just wanted a platonic friendship and uh, i don't know why i hear coming out of the friend zone but it looks like they have picked you they have come your way and like i said it could be an air sign gemini aqua or libra or could be a pisces or a leo i also see leo here you could have leo in your own chart though okay um, nine of wands in reverse also again you know releasing burdens um this person might be a little high maintenance for you cancer i think they test your patience um and they make you really like guess second guess where you stand with them all the time and i think that's kind of like coming to an end here they're really just like committing to you um and they're ready to offer you that 50 50 relationship where they do just as much effort they do just as much work uh, into this connection as you do okay so i think they are ready to match your energy see how they're like exchanging those cups um they might be a little hasty to take it than they are to give it so something you might want to watch out for before handing your cup to them um but no it looks like a very good good energy i feel like they finally stopped messing around with you and actually come forward and told you that okay yeah no i do want something long term with you let's do this okay um so very good energy i think you're really connecting with them right now you're in the phase where you're getting to know each other um you're also like communicating intellectually connecting emotionally connecting very good energy that way and i feel like you had to kind of like wait on this person you weren't i think they annoy you because of that um 
I think you find that annoying about them, Cancer. I feel like you're not happy about that. Um, but I don't think it's a good time to, you know, get revenge or anything. I don't know why I said that, but that came to me. Like, I, I saw someone feeling like, huh, you made me chase you? Now it's my turn. Don't do that, okay? I think this person is ready to match your energy, so match their energy. Mirror them. Um, don't give too much. Don't take too much. Just, like, have a good balance there. Because I think they're actually genuinely coming towards you with a lot of love, a lot of emotions. And they're ready. Okay, I do feel really like a lot of readiness from them. Okay, that's like this card, <laughs> the Ace of Swords. They're ready to communicate with you clearly. And um, I also see a job opportunity coming in the month of March here. So we'll move on to your near future here. So five of wands i see there has been a lot of competition um surrounding your workspace um so uh, like basically just like in the job market there might have been like a lot of competition in the career you're in um but and i also i don't know why cancer i also get that you might really compare yourself to a lot of people um that some that's something you might want to stop doing stop competing okay um but i do see that something really really good is coming towards you and obviously this is an offer of money um this is an offer of stability so financial gain march is going to be the month of a new romantic relationship where someone's giving you just as much as they take and then also you know it's a very good month for you honestly it's a very good reading also a offer of financial gain so i do see it as a job promotion though i do see like if at your workplace there was a lot of uh, competition surrounding a job position you might be the one getting it um or if you had applied for a job that's kind of like hard to get generally um you might be getting it so it does look like that you're moving up financially you're also moving up in your romantic life really good reading amazing energy um clarifying is the two of pentacles so there is some juggling here uh, you might want to be very clear. I'm also getting schedule your time wisely, okay? Uh, so you don't want to get distracted, okay? So work-life balance, you that's something you might want to work into because this job might be really demanding, I feel like. I think that's why there's so much competition because it's a very good high-paying job too. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of competition surrounding it. So it's demanding because of that because if you were not you know showing up 100 percent, they could easily replace you so that's why i also feel like the two of pentacles is there um and i don't think it's clarifying this energy as much as it is telling you to balance okay um prioritize things in your life wisely and have a balance okay so i like my advice from this spread my personal advice as a life coach would be to um prioritize things like on a list okay schedule your timeline if you have a demanding job and a new connection and you want to win in both the areas of your life then you need balance okay you need to have that proper time for the loved one but you also want the proper time for your job and you don't want to be burnt out in any area of your life so schedule it my advice would be schedule make a schedule for yourself and stick to it cancer I know once you set your mind to something, you go for it. So good luck with that. Now, let's see what the outcome is in the month of March. Oof, it's too many cards. I'm going to just shuffle. Whatever's meant to come out will come out again. For my cancer. Month of March 2020. Ace of Wands. Oh my God, so many aces. Oh, okay amazing reading cancer honestly i i feel like always every time i do your reading i get so i always get like romantic messages for you but there's just like three aces you know like back to back like amazing amazing you're like number one this month okay you you are coming up as number one this month so if you had been feeling like you were competing you were kind of annoyed a little frustrated you know that's all going away in the month of March, by the end of March, you're going to be number one, <laughs> Cancer. You're doing really well. Ace of Wands, again, I also see a lot of sex. 
so be careful use protection um i mean up to you i am not here to give you sex advice but i do see a lot of sex happening um i do see a lot of financial gain i do see a lot of communication and an intellectual connection i also see a equal give and take a very healthy relationship um coming towards you but the ace of wands is the outcome so yeah we are coming out number one at the end of this month so i do feel like this is going to be the theme of this month is level up and that's for you cancer okay this is your reading we're gonna get a advice card from the star seed oracle i love this energy like almost makes me want to level up cancer <laughs> i'm almost inspired by your energy right now okay i am a cancer venus but i don't resonate with this like, not my reading for sure okay i mean could be who's to say jump in okay <laughs> like i said the theme is level up okay and there's another like there's two more aces here so andromedan energy adventure say yes to change so uh, like open yourself up okay jump in jump into this beautiful energy this beautiful portal this month that's opening up for you cancer okay and really enjoy it embrace it but also you know be smart about it of course um keep your wits about you like basically what i mean is like i said schedule it because i do see that there's that juggling energy that was ending your reading right so you do want to kind of watch out for the burnout so don't let that happen to you um schedule things just so you can focus on both aspects of your life in a proper balance okay um let's see what the rebel deck has for you as advice what you need to hear god you are giving too many fucks okay give zero so uh maybe it might be time to because there's so much on your plate already so maybe this will also make fucking better fucking choices is here as well if you are pissed at where you are then stop taking yourself there so um i do think this is like um again relating to that balancing energy like you have so much on your plate uh, it's not really the best time to fixate on how other people might think about you okay or how other people might view you um cancer i do think it's the time to just enjoy what's coming towards you and find balance because there's a lot on your plate like i mean it's a very good number one number one energy but at the same time this type of energy also you know to handle that type of energy and not burn out and lose it you also have to to maintain it you do have to how do you say find the balance right so this is what i have for you guys now if you i do want to mention before i sign off here that um, my very first book practical attraction is out now on amazon and it, it's kindle edition is also out as well if you do have kindle unlimited you can read this for free um otherwise it's just really a few dollars it's not that expensive it's a short read as well but it's a simple guide to the law of attraction and uh, this book is basically about how to practice the law of attraction in your day-to-day -day life without really you know getting lost in all of that meditation stuff like that i mean all of that stuff helps and works of course but um this is just like a practical practical way of using the law of attraction practicing it um to manifest what you desire so if you would like to take a look take a read give me some feedback do that thank you for watching you guys and i will see you next time